friends. Um, I just got done showing you how to do the uh, homemade body scrub exfoliating. I am now out in my garden. Uh, we've had rain here and I just, this is just part of them over here, the weeds. A lot of them I've given off to my goats over there to help them eat today, but all this was just loaded as you can see back behind the fence. That is all loaded. I'm gonna need to get in here with the weed eater. I've got all these. Um, I'm not sure if you see those red berries. I'm not sure if those are edible or not. I've never had them in here, so, and they're out there and I've just been pulling them up because I'm just not sure. But on another note, tomatoes, all, almost all my plants are growing tomatoes. And this one, remember this big 100 gallon bag that we're doing? Look at how nice. I've got like five tomato plants in there and they're all growing nice. I gotta get some extra flowers though. So what I'm doing today, um, I wasn't, I didn't intend on using my raised beds today, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I'm gonna plant some bush beans. And so I have been mending the soil, <clears throat> digging down in there with my pitchfork, turning it, cultivating it, however you wanna call it. I've added some granulated uh, fertilizer but in the midst of doing it, and I'm not sure if the critter's here, I unfortunately stabbed this little guy in the leg. Thankfully, I only got part of his leg, so it kind of just went through the skin, and I was able to get him off. And then, of course, he jumps back in here. So, he's hiding out there. I felt really bad for him. But, you know, get out of my garden is what I say. I harvested the last of my lettuce. It's in the house in an ice bath. My zucchini, my cucumbers are growing. I'm actually going to run out and get a small little trellis. So I'm just out here working. Um, it's, hu it's a little humid today. It's warm. It's supposed to be up to 90. And I'm thankful right now the cloud coverage came over. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, mix the fertilizer all around in here really good and get ready to plant my bush beans and i'll show you how i'll do that all right now that we're back we're going to get ready to plant our bush beans i mixed up the fertilizer here's our beans i use uh, bentley seeds i also saw them in my shop i've really been impressed with the germination and i recommend these beans so yeah if you're interested in getting them you know help me out and order from my shop Mistina's Amish Country Market.com. Yes, I'm plugging my business. So, um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm not really gonna make rows. Sorry guys, I got bugs on me. I think I'm just gonna drop them in just like that. They say you can plant them every couple of inches apart. There are bush beans, so you don't need to stake them. So I'm thankful for that. I'm gonna get on this side. And I think we'll do apparently we're gonna do whatever drops in right i think that's okay so we're gonna so once it's done i'm just gonna push it down in there about an inch here let's get this one. oops let's try that again we're just gonna plant these and push them down in an inch and then i'm just gonna cover them up okay i've got two more over here we're gonna plant one here, and we're gonna plant one right here. I'm gonna use my finger. I learned this trick from Gary, he's a great guy, and I'm just gonna cover it up. Now, that's about six bush beans. I think I'm gonna just, I might as well just take the whole packet and just, you know, because I'd rather plant more and have them not come up, you know? You know, I, I always plant more. I always plant two seeds. And because I preserve food, it's not like I'm gonna have these go to waste. I am I can also take them into my shop and sell them. So there we go. There's the, the bag of uh, seeds. So again, I'm just gonna drop one there, drop one there, one down there one here and then I think what I'm gonna do is do one here and one here um, 
We're just gonna push them slightly down, not too, just use your finger. Doesn't have to be fancy. And then we're just gonna cover up. I gotta get around to the other two over there. And push that one down, cover it up. I thought I had one more there. They're all covered up. Hopefully with the warm temps and, and uh, the soil warming up to over 60 degrees. These should sprout in the next few days, or I should say germinate, and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll get some beans this year. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Cleaning, organizing. Just, yep, cleaning up, organizing, weeding. I'm hot. I'm not sure how much longer I'll be out here. Um, as long as I can tolerate it. I'm gonna go get some water, but hey, thanks for watching. This is uh, this is the end of the video, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial of the body scrub and how I plant my beans. So yeah, have a great day, everybody. Don't forget to click and subscribe and share. Have a great day, be blessed, bye-bye. Hey, welcome back. We're on another recipe we're gonna be working on today, and it is a um, energy ball or fiber ball or just a healthy snack, however you wanna choose to do it. The first thing you're gonna do, let me, let me move my camera down so you can see what I've done. I have already smashed um, two, ripe, two ripe bananas. And to that, I've already pre-measured the rest of the ingredients out. About a half a cup of peanut butter. And to that, we're gonna do a half a cup of, I'm sorry, a quarter cup of honey. This is local honey that I saw at my shop. It's so good. I've never been a big, huge honey uh, eater, but I tried this and I was like, wow, this is really good. So we're gonna do a half a cup of that. And then we're gonna add in half a cup of chocolate chips. Now. The recipe called for mini, but I didn't have mini, so we're just gonna use what I have. And one teaspoon of vanilla. And to that, two cups of quick oats. So that was one cup. Let me get another cup. Okay. And then we are going to Mix all this together. And form the little balls, and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. Okay, once it's all mixed together, you're gonna get your uh, cookie, if you have a cookie scooper, or just form them into balls. Now, I pre-sprayed mine. And I have my sheet lined over here with parchment paper. I'm just gonna set that here. And then you just start scooping, forming them into balls. Hopefully, there you go. There's one. And I'm just gonna continue working on this. And you put them in the refrigerator, you let them get cold. And then you can divide them up in bags if you want. So it's a grab and go snack. If you're heading out the door somewhere and need a quick, healthy snack, or you can just leave them in there when you're at home and have an option for a healthy snack if you're getting hungry, especially when you're out working outside. These are great. Just put them in a little Ziploc bag or a container, take them on a picnic. There you go. So I'm just gonna continue doing this. That one didn't come out, so I'm just going to form that one like a meatball. Maybe a little bigger than normal, but hey, it's okay, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. It does not have to be perfect by all means. And so, yeah. Now, to this, you if you want, there are other recipes out there, and I can link this recipe below because I did find it on the internet. Um, to this, 
which I did not do. I'm gonna test it and see how everybody likes it, but to this, we can add like flax seed to it, chai seed to it, just to give it a little healthier um, flavor. You can actually um, add protein powder to this. So it's a good dose of protein for you for the day. But you know, I'm getting quite a bit. So yeah, there's a lot of different variations of this. You can add cinnamon to it, because you know cinnamon is a really good natural um, anti-inflammatory. I don't know if you knew that, but it is. So you can use that. So I'm just gonna keep making the balls here, guys. Okay, so all these are done. I'm now going to place this whole sheet in my refrigerator if I have room. I'm not sure about that, to be honest with you. I gotta see what I got going on. Yeah, maybe. And they're to chill for like maybe 30 minutes or so. I don't know if this is gonna fit. Nope, so we're just gonna try and angle it in the best we can. There, that works for me. Here we go. We're just going to let those sit now and get really cold. When they are finished, um, like I said, I will take them out and uh, take them out and then uh, store them in a container or a bag. Now I'm going to clean up my mess because I spilled chocolate chips all over. Okay, friends. It's been a little longer than 30 minutes. I got, I got distracted by planting some... flowers that I got today. They were a clearance like 50 cents a piece and a dollar a piece, so I can not help myself. So they are done. They are nice and firm. Still a little wet, but I think they'll be okay. I could probably leave them in there a little bit longer. I may do that overnight, but I think I'm gonna try one. Let me just get a small one here, just that one's full enough. Let's see. Mm. Soft. Good flavor. The banana really comes out. Mm. Those are actually really good. It's simple too. And I like it because it's one, it's healthy too. You don't have to bake them. You just don't have to turn your oven on. So this is going to be on my list of future recipes. Bon appetit.